ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to a new episode of Fire and Steel. Today we will review the new biography released by Donald Trump. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's, it's a one-page picture. <laughs> Called Trump, Trump, Trump. <laughs> That's offensive. Uh, anyways, we are uh, actually back with a knife review today. Can you believe it? I'm just kidding. Vlogging. <laughs> Here we go. Feminism. Uh, this was a shitty way to start a knife review. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to review the Bruslatu um, Anar Yucca today, which is a Norwegian knife. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, the uh, Anar Yucca is uh, designed by a quite famous uh, Norwegian fellow named uh, Lars Monsen. Which is a uh, who is an uh, adventurer, dog sled riding man. Yeah, he, he's walked across Canada. Uh, he used three years for that. Uh, yeah. He's done a lot of these crazy things. Canada, Alaska. Yeah. So it's safe to say that he has used a knife before. Um, the. Uh, Okay. The Onryuka is uh, part of a three knife series, uh, follows the same design. And the two others are called Femis Marka and Bergefjell. Bergefjell. Uh, and uh, they all, all three are uh, Norwegian national parks. National parks. Uh, it uh, retails for two hundred and eleven dollars on uh, Norwegian retailers. Actually, all retailers I have uh, researched have the same price, two hundred and eleven dollars. But anyways, let's uh, look at some facts. Oh my! Uh, overall length is fourteen uh, point three inches. Blade length is eight point nine inches. Uh, the thickness is 0 0.1575 inches <laughs> or 4 millimeters uh, and it weighs 15.8 ounces. Snake. Europe. Uh, blade. Blade. Uh, this is Freddy's knife by the way, so I haven't used, this, used it as much as he has. Um, the blade is a 440C stainless steel. Uh, it's um, quite thick and it has a scandy. So, uh, and it has this spine notch for lifting off kettles. Um, yeah. Um, the handle is uh, a uh, micarta handle uh, with a red inlay inside as you can see um, it's a full tang knife um, with a large lanyard hole for both uh, straps and for a paracord or a string or yeah mm -hmm. any sort of rope um, yeah uh, my carta isn't isn't normal for Norwegian knives I have to say I think this is the first one mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the uh, the blade and the handle. Jeez. <coughs> it's a uh, black uh, ox leather. Uh, it has this uh, contrasting seam, orange sewing around the edges. Uh, it has a uh, fire steel holder, which we will come back to. Uh, button snap for the handle, um, steel ring of loop on the top. Uh, it doesn't say much about this in the advertisement, but uh, we reckon it's for hanging it up. Yeah, it has to be on the branch or if you're you're in the woods or a nail, something mm. like that. Yeah. 
Uh, it does not have a uh, drain hole. No, it does look like it uh, have, but that's a big hole here for a parkour. <laughs> but no drain hole. And it's uh, ambidextrous. Dextrous. Yeah. So the knife. Which goes is important. Both ways. And it has a big protective flap. Yeah. In front. Yeah. That's all the specs, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, also, by the way, this is Lars Monson's logo. Didn't mention that. It's on the blade as well. Uh, big M. No, it's an L and an M. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. It's an M. It's an M. It's an M. It's shaped as an M. <laughs> um. Yeah. Look at her. Has a big mosquito on her nose. <laughs> I can smell it, but where is it? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's uh, talk some details or on use mm. on this bad boy. Uh, blade, first of all. Uh, where to start? Chopping. Uh, doesn't do very well on the chopping. It has the weight, but uh, both me and Snake, uh, uh, we are missing the, a belly on it. It's a very straight edge, and so it doesn't. Uh, it, you hit the wood very flat, and so it doesn't uh, cut into it very well. It doesn't have that single or or a smaller point of contact. Yeah, it like an that. axe I would have. Yeah. And also because of the thickness combined with that, it uh, it lacks in chopping um, capability. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the grind is so far down, mm. so and it's a thick scandy. Yeah. It turns into this uh, hammer hammer action mm. when you strike it. Yeah. Uh, Batoni. Batoning. That went went very well, actually. Yeah, we batoned a lot with it yeah. on a huge ass log. <laughs> uh, yeah. But it's um, it's a good batoner because of the thickness. It yeah. splits the wood excellently. Yeah. Um, I must say, I um, could be an issue with this notch beating up your baton unnecessarily. But yeah. uh, we didn't experience too much of that I think. No. The, the the smaller baton we used was pretty old and rotten so it was bound to break anyway. Mm -hmm. um, finer work works? Yeah I think it worked pretty well. Yeah. It's a scandy. So it'll work great for uh for, for finer work. Yeah. Definitely. And I was a bit surprised at how sharp it was. Yeah, that's after a all very the steep angle on the on the grind. But still, it's, it cuts into it like it was a uh, normal scandy. Uh, it's a, it's a good 440C yeah. uh, steel. Yep. So I have to commend on Brusato for their uh, grinding, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's a strong it, grind. Yeah, and you you can't see anything, any bad grinding or chipping or anything. And we know for a fact that. Uh, uh, a lot of these Scandi big knives uh, that use carbon steel mm. has a tendency to fold <laughs> on the grind yeah. because of the Scandi. Uh, but this has not done that. But I do suspect the uh, the steep angle is because it is 440C. Yeah. Because so. it is would be too brittle to have a real Scandi on it. The edge would be too thin. Yeah, and I think so too. Break apart. Break off, but uh, <laughs> it has to be said for this 440C still must be a uh, quality made because yeah. it doesn't show any tear and wear on there. It's been used for a long while, you've had maybe some micro micro chipping, but oh, I can okay. barely notice it in the sunlight. Uh, so, fine work, what did we come up with? The batoning and firework and chopping. Firework? <laughs> Finer work. Finer work. It has fine. fireworks too? Where? <laughs> Where's the button? <laughs> Where's the button? 
Beep, uh, beep. I want to take the pommel before the handle. Yeah. Um, the pommel is extremely big. Now, yeah. I think this is also a, a balance issue. Um, it's, it's there because it'll balance the knife better. And it does. It feels good here. Mm -hmm. To do small works because of it. But it's so massive, man. Yeah. It's uh, enormous. I don't know why they would... Uh, One of the bigger ones we were testing. Yeah. And uh, linear hole, great. Good stuff. This thing? The strap, I don't get it. It makes no sense. I've never missed a strap on my uh, knife. Let us know if someone use if any of you guys use strap or if you would like a knife with that. Uh, we 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 can't find any any good use for it. No, but it's there. Uh, it took to a fire steel very well. Yeah, it did. It has a nice ninety degree spine mm -hmm. uh, all the way, so uh, that's good. Uh, which we also will talk about regarding the sheath. Now the handle. Yeah. This is where the big minus pops up. Yeah. And the shape of it, to be honest. It's, um, it has one of those, uh, which we like to call tops, faults. It's really, really uh, smooth linen, my car mm. It's so slippery. There's no... There is not none at all, um, and um, because of the shape of it, and and that um, that it's so slippery, and the shape of the knife. Because I I think Freddie doesn't agree, but I think it's too um, it's too thick here when it's that slippery. If it was more grippy, it wouldn't be a problem. But because of this, um, and because this part hits right above, uh, right under the thumb. The cushion of the thumb. Mm -hmm. When you chop, you have to grip it yeah. tight, and it wears out the hand super fast. Mm -hmm. I got really worn out. It wasn't too many chops. We're talking 20, 30 chops here. Mm -hmm. the, the, hand, the hand was beaten up, and you got a blemish on yours as well. No, well, that was the uh, baton. Oh, the baton. <laughs> um, but um, but yeah, it's, it's way too slippery. Yeah. And I don't think it has a good three finger or two finger grip either because of again big ass pommel digs into the hand so again you have that so you have to grip it here there's no other option mm -hmm. and that strains the hand yeah still you have to rep reposition your hand all the time all the time and uh, that again thickness combined with uh, slippery and uh, well, a bit of the shape, but that's my, my, my issue though. He mm -hmm. doesn't feel that, so that's okay. But I, I had an issue with that. Um, yeah. That's my take on it, at least for chopping. Yeah. Finer work is no problem. <coughs> no, it's, uh, it's the problem start when you have, uh, when you have to hold the knife back from flying somewhere. <laughs> yeah. You uh, start uh, using some extreme force. Regarding stabbing, this knife wouldn't be too good uh, no. because there's no finger guard. There's and nothing. that's okay though, there are plenty of traditional knives that don't have finger guards. They don't even have grooves here. But for some reason, because of this, it's so. it doesn't feel good. Um, so I cut my, uh, my pinky here, straight in here, when I just did like this and jammed it into the wood, you'll, you'll see it on the footage, it goes into the finger. I think that was filmed at least. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I don't know, it's it's never been an issue for me, this part, but uh, for some reason, because the Sami knives and these other traditional knives have wood handles, they are mm. more texturized, they, they sit better in the hand. This, this doesn't, and it's so thick. Indeed. Do we have anything else? Uh, well, I, I'm, I remember saying in a review we did on a, I think it was a traditional knife, that uh, 
There's something about you don't need a finger guard as long as you know how to use the knife. Well, that knife was this long, I think. And the knife gets this big. Yeah, but the Sami knife doesn't have a finger guard. Well, not the least. The yeah, but it knife. takes more texturized grip, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It is a wood handle. And it's also not as thick. So when it's thinner, you get more better grip. It's okay that it's long that way, you know, this way. But not that way, not the thickness of it. It doesn't have to be that damn thick. Mm. And and that again comes back to the fact that this 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 knife is too thick, in my opinion. And it stops chopping properly. It also reacts with the handle. I don't know what it is. It, I just miss something that stops me from... Yeah. Because it, my hand just wants to move over this part. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I'm having a great grip on this part, maybe it's too thin, I don't know. You think it's too thick and I think it's too thin? No, but it's it's not too Should thick. Should it be vice versa? <laughs> it, it, it's just the ergonomics of the handle. It all yeah, comes it, down and just doesn't feel good. Yeah, yeah. God damn mosquito. Um, I don't know. Does uh, it look thin? Look at this. I'm holding my thumb way over my... I don't know. Just something doesn't feel right. <laughs> yeah, but it, that, it's important that the knife doesn't feel right. It, it is. Um, you can, of course, there is a slight of a thumb ramp here. I don't know if that's some of their plan with it. Hmm. You're supposed to have a thumb. But again, we're back to the issue with the, the big ass pummel. Yeah. I'm digging into that. And I know we, we, we sometimes on, on many knives, um, trash knives for ergonomics but god damn it that it, it is actually the most important thing on a knife yeah next to the quality of the steel ergonomics is second maybe even first as well first. First. so so it's it's so important and when it doesn't feel right in the hand that we can't pinpoint exactly what it is on this knife it just doesn't feel right mm. it doesn't feel safe to chop with no and, uh, that's an issue. Yeah. Uh, it's a good-looking knife, I must say. Yeah, it's a quality knife. It's very quality well made. And, uh, Sharp as hell. The price. Uh, anyway, um, the sheath. Or are we? Do we have any more? No. So how about jimping? Do you miss jimping? No, I never miss jimping. I never miss jimping on oh. any knife. Well, I can miss it on some knives, uh, but usually it's okay that it's not. That's I don't miss jimping on that one. I don't think traditional knives should have jimping on them. I think that ruins the look of the knife. Mm. Yeah, I don't miss it on this one at least. No, and I think you, you get a good grip. Yeah. Uh, doing final work. So. Uh, yeah, final work is uh, pretty good. And the uh, edge goes all the way down. Mm. So that's good. You get a good feel of the knife. Yeah. So if you, you're not, you know, a lot of people use um, axes when they go on trips. But I think if you use an axe, then there's no need for you to have a, a knife this size. It makes no sense. No. So you have a small knife and an axe instead. You don't carry this. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Well, we had the for the uh, knife. Yeah. We could mention though that the other two knives are uh, uh, what are they? Six inch and three? No, four, 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 four and six. It would be fun to test those, but uh, the price. The price is too high. The pro yeah, maybe we should come back to that. Um, sheath. Sheath. I like this sheath. It looks great. Yeah. It actually is a fantastic sheath. Yeah. Very well made. Quality. Uh, you can feel the quality in it. Mm. It's not stiff or anything. That's a good smell. Yeah. Got that good the, proper leather smell. The button is, uh, this button strap, very it's thick. Very quality Doesn't button as well. It's yeah. not going to come off after years of wear. Uh, it's going to soften up. Uh, through the years, mm. um, and you don't have to um, you don't have to um, coat this. 
with uh, anything really. Uh, has a big, big ass. Uh, the hell? I'm trying to break it, uh, I think. Uh, that's a big ass belt loop. <laughs> and the the glue off. is coming off at that part. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's probably just glue to hold it together whilst they uh, rivet it, mm. I think, and sew it. So it's it's not a big deal. Um, what are we talking about? Yeah, belt loop. Yeah, the belt loop is big, and that's good. Uh, How do you feel about this? I don't like that. I don't hang my knives at, in walls, so I, for me it's useless. But I guess for people that want to hang them in their shed or in their garage or in their, well, living room. To be honest, it's a good looking knife. It works. Nice. Yeah, but it's, you know, you want to hang it that way. Oh my. Yeah. People are particular about their stuff. But I do feel that, well, that person can just take a key ring and hang it through here. Yeah. <laughs> It'll work. work. And a key ring costs like. A carabine. Yeah, it costs nothing. So, uh, uh, big ass uh, lanyard oh, loop yeah. hole, something. I'm guessing. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, this flap, I I don't like at all. It's too big. I don't mind it being a flap there because it has to be something, I guess. Really. Does it? No, it doesn't. With the button, <laughs> does it? No. Because you You're don't right. need the friction. You don't need friction to hold it when there's a button. But. That just so, looks stupid from this angle. Yeah, and what this does is collect dirt yeah. and water and snow. And when there's no weep hole, well, that leather, uh, leather strip oh, no, no. is going to fill up uh, with water. Yep. And dirt, and shit, and grass, and yeah. pine needles. It'll fill up. And it's not that easy to get out <laughs> when it's leather. And I have a feeling it's just going to bend this way more and more. Yeah, probably. Use. So you can't cut it off, though. You can do that. Yeah. You can just cut it off there. Uh, it, it has a function with friction here. It does. But it's, I think it's mere, it's a cosmetic thing, to be honest. I think yeah. it is. Looks like to be. Yeah. Uh, what else? Have we forgotten something? <laughs> Have we? Is something missing here? Yeah. What could it be? The, the knife costs $211. Mm. And the, the fire steel is accessory. You have to buy it, uh, yeah, as an accessory. So it's an extra. And if you want that Lars Monson uh, fire steel with the striker, it costs what? That was two hundred Norwegian, wasn't it? Two hundred Norwegian. So we're talking twenty-five bucks. <laughs> and if you want to buy the uh, the uh, Original Bruce Original Bruce Lato, which made these knives, but it doesn't say Lars Mott. It has a different color on the, on the, on the uh, fucking thing, Wait, where you hold it. Mm. It's blue and the Lars Mott one is red, I think. And it doesn't have that saw blade striker, which costs nothing. That's half price. That's $12. Mm. So they want, if you want to complete one of these, you mm -hmm. have to pay actually closer to 200 than well, Forty dollars, probably, yeah. and that's that's bullshit, to be honest. That yeah. is proper bullshit. Yeah. First of all, that saw blade extra thing that comes with it does not double the price in any realm. No, nope. in any realm of this universe, does that double the price? So fuck you, Bruce Latte, for doing that. Yeah. Second of all, knife for this price with a fire steel holder should come with a fire steel mm. in it. It's, there's no, that's just stupid. Yeah. It is horrible. It's a horrible decision by Bruce Lato not giving a fire steel with this. Mm. I think it's terrible. It's, it's, it's absolutely disgusting. It's just marketing on its worst. Yeah, it is. You give out a good looking knife with a good looking sheath to a price that's too high 
and you have a fire steel for sale, mm. and that's fine. You can have it for sale for other people. But this knife is supposed to have it, and you charge us extra for that? It's not going to happen, man. And we don't know the quality of the fire steel because we're not going to buy that fire steel. No, hell no. Uh, although no. it should be bought because it'll complete the knife. It has that red uh, holder for it, so it, it'll it'll look good on the knife. Yeah, the probably. Side With the seam and the, the, the inlay here, it'll look good. Fortunately, nobody will ever see that. Well, there's no way in hell I'm paying... Uh, 25 bucks for fire steel? I don't know. That's and still it's such it's one of those eBay fire steels too. It's one of those cheap cheap ones. There's nothing extravagant with it. No, there's no excuses. When you add the fire steel holder, you add the fire steel. Yeah. It, it definitely. Especially that is. when the knife costs as much, much as it does. And I mean Schrade even manages to put fire steels in there. $30 knives and those uh, fire steels are great. Yep. They're amazing uh, It's just weird to me that uh, Bruce Lato can do that. It's um, I think it's disgusting by Bruce Lato to, to, be honest, to yep. do that My <laughs> oh, yes. uh, Yeah, where were we? Who's it for? Yeah, who's it for? Uh, I'm I'm coming back at Woodsman Hikers and uh, such. Um, yeah, uh, it's um, it's probably going to be in Norway. You know, big knives isn't a common thing. The Sami knife is very common, but usually people like axes and knives. So the Mora and uh, and the simple Grand Force Wetterlands, those type of axes mm. are very. Well, it's usually what people use. Mm. So I don't know how much they're going to sell of these knives, but yeah, it's woodsman. Definitely wilderness people mm. and woodsmen uh, are using uh, want this knife, I guess. I don't know, collectors maybe. It has a unique look to it, so yeah, sure. it could be for collectors as well. Mm. Uh, it looks damn nice, it does. The whole look of the knife is, is great. Mm. I don't think there's. Should you buy it? No. No. No, you shouldn't buy it. No way. Uh, Bruce Lato has other options that are better for for uh, under half the price. Uh, Bill Moin. Um, which we reviewed, which had some issues, but they have uh, remade the handle on that one. So it's slimmer, so now I guess it's a pretty damn good knife, to yeah. be honest. And it's for half the price. Uh, then you have the Sami knife and uh, Hella, that's the Lachlan, there, there, there are better options. Jeez. There are better options out there for yeah. half the price. Yeah. And uh, it's too bad. I feel like this knife is a marketing thing mm. for Lars Monson, yeah. which is great, but uh, hell. <laughs> I don't know if, uh, you know, Bear Grylls and Lars Monson and all the less Stroud and these people, do they use the knives they put their name to? I don't know. It would be interesting to see if they do. Yeah. Without it being a commercial. I mean, yeah, yeah. in when they're home. Do they use it? I, I have a call. feeling Lars Moose wouldn't trade out his Sami knife to this. No, he wouldn't. Uh, he would see the faults in it too, I think. Yeah. So, um, no, it does not get the foreign steel recommendation. Seal of approval. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and mainly it is the handle. And the price. It, yeah, price, handle, I think it, yeah. and this shit. Yeah, price, handle, and that. The quality of the steel is amazing. It's yeah. really, really good. It's a, the best 440C we've tested mm. by far. Yeah. Uh, the finish of the knife, if you look, the looks, is great. Yeah. The sheath is great with smaller faults to it, mm -hmm. but that's our personal opinion. Uh, so the main issues are price, ergonomics, mm -hmm. yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Price and ergonomics ruin it for us. And this dumbass shit. Yeah, yeah, and definitely it doesn't ruin it, but 
it's it, it's so it, stupid. It gives a sour taste in the mouth. Yeah. There's no point in uh, keeping it as an accessory. No. You give out the knife and you sell that. The fire still separate. It's just stupid. I also hate to do these things. It's like a car. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so if you want an air conditioner, you have to pay uh, your ass off. And you already made the fucking air conditioner. It's like with games, DLCs and shit like that. Yeah. You already made the content. Give it out. Just up the price yeah. if needed. But I mean, this is up to its limit. And the least they could put on is this. So I think to fix it, in my opinion, to fix it, you make the, the knife thinner. You put on a finger guard. Mm. And you add a fire steel. You go mm. uh, a little belly. Yeah. Little belly. And change the uh, scales. Yeah, but you don't need to change the scales if you put a finger guard there. You don't think so? No, oh, no. and if you thin down the steel. I still think the uh, scales too, are too, too slippery. slippery. Yeah, okay. I've been trying it with water. You need to try it with water. Um, That's subject A. Yeah. But I think, again, thickness mm -hmm. is too much. So go down a little bit, put a little bit of a belly on it. And uh, yeah, on me. Oh Jesus! <laughs> How's it? It's even sleeper. And now it sticks better. So with water, it sticks. In water, it sticks a little bit better, but it's still the ergonomics is, is horrible. Mm -hmm. But it sticks better now. It does. Okay. And cloth. Soak some water, so it should. I yeah, guess. so you do like bare grills, you piss on your hands, <laughs> and then you use the knife. No problem. Problem fixed. Yeah, problem fixed. But uh, change the ergonomics, thickness, and put a belly on it. And I put the fire steel in it. You go down 500 kroners in price, this knife is well worth it. Mm -hmm. But again, it doesn't have any of that, so it's not worth the money. Nope. Even if you cut off 500 kroners, I don't think it's worth it. Hey, you're right. <laughs> You got way better. I mean, you can't walk around pissing on your hands to, to, to chop. You, yeah. We have other oh. options. Piss in your mouth. Oh, sorry. Piss <laughs> in your mouth? <laughs> Bear Grylls does that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah. Hey, did you know Bear Grylls has uh, developed the ability to piss standing in his mouth? I've seen it, you know. You've seen it? Yeah. Okay. Eyewitness news. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this turned weird. <laughs> it always uh, does. <laughs> so yeah, but that's all we uh, had, wasn't it? Mm. We do not recommend it. Onoryuka. Uh, yeah. I guess that's all we had. For the... Do you slap it? Oh my. Onoryuka. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Onoryuka. Yuka. Onoryuka. Yeah, but there's an H. You have to... Onoryuka. You have to do that, isn't it? Who cares? <laughs> it's far away. <laughs> See you again next time. Have a safe journey home. Yeah, 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 yeah! No crap, eh? Det var gennem nu. Hercules? Hercules! Fy faen! Det var varmt. Det var jævlig varmt. Det var jævlig varmt. Det var jævlig varmt. Hva er det som skjer da? Hva? Vegar? Hva er det med? Hva er det med? Hva er det? 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 Hva er det?
han här oss. En pinne. Ingen kan jag ha strax två man. Det var gott. Det var ett kött för det här. Jag fick inte injuka av det var. Det är fot nu. Det är så heller. Kom igen. Skicka. Nu. Heller nog. Nå, hva er det? Jeg må på hva er det dag? Nye boni. Nye boni. Bønsen er en parched. Fetch me my finest toilet water. Det er en bil det. En parched. Bønsen? Bil det, det hører seg det. Jeg tror det. Jeg tror det er sikkert. Hun med flås, han tar også for slik. Bønsen er en parched. Fetch me my finest toilet water. Det er genial det. Fucking ants! Hur går sitt hår då? Fucking ants! Ja, det är Amar i uppgång. Det får vi ut på henne. Blod på skoa här. Är det rart? Hur går det här? Blod. Köm. Köm blod här. Lukta blod på tälla, ja. På säken. Mosquito! Mosquito! Så! Vi gjør tørre handmyggen nå, ja. El Salvador! Det er ikke bare greit å dra på dem, så blir det faktisk mindre mygg. Litt merkbart for oss, men det blir mindre. Si, si! Spøtta faen av noen nå. Potato. Potato? Potato! Hola! Vi kan jo lage et bord etterpå. Kom og sta, amigos! Så, helt mygg. Det er stort, da. Vi må jo finne spansk i arsene først. Because jump, jump, jump! Men hva er det for? Men min ass er sveti. Du vil ikke snappe på min sveti ass, Nick? Jeg har snappet ting. Jeg har probably sett det. You probably see it. You snap everything. Everything revolving around ass. It's being snapped. You saw the reflection of my ass in the toilet water with my shit down. How much shit do you... Who's taken like this? Look at my scrotum, man. Hey, fall on some of the water. Ha, 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 ha,